game number one underway. In the blue, Swarm Gaming in orange, Generation of Billies. I'm going to get to the right side of the pitch here. So let's just kick things off. Now, I've seen Billies play a few times. I've cast some of their matches. But uh, I've definitely seen more of Swarm, like I said. And already DeBoer trying to come off hard off the wall and make some kind of play on it. Ah, oh, but Zumi Tail with a nice attempt. Pashi gets in, though, with a critical save. Big save going across the pitch. Now, Pashi and DeBoer trying to make an offensive attempt. Sikizem gets back into goal. Tries to turn that shot aside. Does go off the wall, though, but he gets by DeBoer, but Pashi is there right behind him. That kind of setup is critical for one of these top teams. You're going to see they always have somebody typically who falls back and plays kind of that insurance role. If they're in goal, there's usually somebody behind them. They, they rely on their teammates, but they are there just in case because you never know what to expect. Maybe the timing's a little off on the controller. Maybe, uh, you know, maybe they just come off a little short or somebody gets blown up. You never know. But here we go. Good setup into the corner, but they have to fall back and recollect their boost, but they don't get a chance to clear it. I don't know what happened there. Pashi got a little stuck up in the corner. He didn't actually clear that ball out, which gave Billy's a bit of a time to try to set something up. They couldn't do anything with it, but they had the time, and I think that's important. Oh, Pashi with a nice little center here. He's going to try to put the ball on net, but Zumi turns him aside. Huge detonation, and DeBoer is left in shards. That ball's just going to trail in Zumi Tail with a big goal. Take a look at this again. I'm not really sure what kind of happened here. Sikizem didn't get the right positioning on that stop. He turned really early. I think he should have gone a little bit further and just let that ball dribble into the net. Billy's up 1-0 in this opening matchup. This is a best of five series, by the way. DeBoer tries to get a good aerial attempt to square things up, but no such luck. Ball sent back up the pitch. A good cross here by Puma. Nobody in position to try to make a finish on it, however. So now, working up the far wall, Pashi gets a little bit of a dribble going. Great float over the head of Zumi Tail, but no such luck. Pashi, the number one 1v1 player in the world, so those little moves are not unexpected by him. To say the least, Zumi Tail puts another shot on goal, but Pashi there to make the stop. DeBoer clears it to the opposite corner to try and give his team a little bit of time to regroup. Hopefully turn aside this offensive opportunity, but Billy's are really coming in pretty hard. I'm, I don't know what's going on there. It feels like Swarm Gaming's playing a little off. They're not reacting very quickly to some of these things. I don't know if it's deliberate or, or what. It just doesn't feel deliberate. But all right, Pashi gets the setup here. He stops it against the wall. Oh, hi, my ball. I'm going to fall back through the wall here so we can watch this a little easier. Here we go. Another shot on tap, but the net's left wide open. Oh, what a long distance goal. Take a look at this one. Zupanova gets the touch and way across the field. Sikizem couldn't get the attempt and Billy's up 2-0. So already, very impressive showing by Generation of Billy's off the gate. Oh, Pashi with a nice mid-air redirect, but it's a little too high. Sikizem tries to get the finish, but can't get to it in time. Now, they're going to fall back. They're overcommitting a little bit on these offensive attacks, and Generation Abilities has been doing a really good job of basically exploiting it. Oh, but a nice floating touch by Pashi off the wall. DeBoer tries to get the follow-up. The ball's still in the danger zone. They've got to make a play on it. Up the wall here. Zumi makes a play. Good cross there. Zupanova tries to get the touch. Here comes Puma, but cannot get the finish. It's still in harm's way, though. It's in a bad spot. Puma with a great stop on that clear attempt. But DeBoer is going to send it back into the blue zone and pay for it with his car's life. Now, good setup. Pashi with a nice gentle touch. Zupanova gets the save and keeps this clean sheet for Billy's. Off the wall, Puma, sorry, Pashi misses that shot. DeBoer centers it in front. Here comes Pashi, tries to get the angle on it, but he gets too far underneath it and just sends it out. DeBoer can't make any kind of attempt there, but now pressure's still coming. One minute to go here, and so far, Generation of Billies has been looking outstanding. However, it's been a lot of weird defensive lapses. 
by Swarm Gaming. Not sure if there's something going on or just some miscommunication or what, but there's a nice touch by DeBoer, but Zupanova turns it aside. Final 30 seconds coming up here, folks. Ball set into the corner. Nice good opportunity here. Here comes Puma to try to finish it, but he gets a little bit of a rough angle, so he can't quite get the mustard on that shot. Zumi, nice stop on the clear attempt. Sikizem has to float it up high, put it back on the orange side. DeBoer comes in. They're not going to have enough time to do much here. I'm saying game one is going to Generation of Billies. Comes off the wall. Final 10 seconds here. Can they get another goal? Can Swarm break the zero? So far pretty good, but they don't get an angle on that. The ball's still up. Just going to let it fall. There is game one. So, game one goes to uh, two generation of Billies. Looks like Sikizem just left the match. I wonder if we're having some lag issues. I was seeing some very unusual play by Sikizem. Some really slow reaction time. Very atypical of him. Well... With that, let's just take a quick moment to uh, update our score sheet while we wait to see exactly what the situation is. All right, so it looks like looks like Sikizem having a little bit of internet issues, but he is coming back in. So so far, we're all right. It's all good, but we'll see. You know, this is a best of five series. It's just game one. That that gives. Swarm Gaming, another opportunity to kind of regroup, reevaluate things a little bit. Um, it is not completely out of reach by any stretch. So now, uh, I guess while we're waiting on everybody to rejoin, make sure things are stable, uh, I did see a question about positioning. Um, I will gladly talk about positioning. There are essentially three different positions in Rocket League. Um, some teams might show a little more variety in that, but there are essentially three different roles in Rocket League. Uh, they are defense, or goalkeeping, really. There's midfield, and then there's offense, or striker. Now, no one player constantly plays one role. The things that really separate good teams from average teams is rotation basically being able to reposition when needed but some players kind of specialize in something like cloud fuel mentioned in chat for for a uh, cosmic aftershock gibbs is basically their go-to uh defender and he is constantly in goal probably most of the time um but Cosmic Aftershock is a little bit of a, an anomaly in the sense that both Cronovi and Sad Jr. kind of play that offensive striker slash midfield role, and it really just depends on how they've set up that particular play that particular time. You know, you see, despite the fact that we know Cronovi, one of the top players in the world, constantly hits huge sniper-like shots, big aerials, things like that, really flashy stuff, doesn't necessarily mean that he is constantly a striker because he does fall back he does play that midfield role he'll set up shots for sad jr um, but but he and sad jr carnovi and sad jr are typically your offensive unit for cosmic aftershock um on these two teams i can talk a little bit about swarm siki zem is typically your defender despite the fact that he will come up he will make offensive plays um he is typically going to be back in goal or at least playing defense in some way A clock. <laughs> Till the game starts, I have no clock. <laughs> the time I, I don't I don't have a an actual clock for time. But here we go. We'll come back to this later. Game number two underway. I'm getting to the other side of the field right now. I know I've delayed that. But here we go. DeBoer gets a nice clear out of the corner. Sets it back up for Puma. Puma's gonna have to try to play this up. But here we go. Billy's gets a nice setup opportunity but they can't really do much with it so now DeBoer takes it up good setup here but it gets deflected hard out of play and back into the blue zone 
They're still not getting opportunities, and Puma tries to get the setup, but DeBoer with a critical save. Oh, Zumi Tail, I think, got a little too uh, overzealous there, because I think Zupanova was coming in for a pretty solid shot. So they're going to have to fall back. Here comes DeBoer off the setup by Pashi in the corner. But it still gets turned away. Pashi with a nice little out-of-zone stop. Clears it up the field. It's going to be a pretty easy setup, but not a very good clear. Pashi's going to try to make the finish, and he does. Outstanding goal. Take a look at this. He gets the shot off here. Bounces off of Puma. They don't get a solid clear, and Pashi is more than talented enough to put it away off the aerial. Beautiful goal there. If you want to know about positioning, there's your example. Pashi is typically going to be your striker for Swarm Gaming. DeBoer is good at playing midfield. He sets up a lot of opportunities, just like this. A nice cross. Here comes Pashi to get the finish, but Zumi gets the proper clear, gets to it first. So now, trying to see, is this going to be where Swarm Gaming turns it around? Good clear back into the blue zone. Sikizem has to fly across the goal like a rocket to try and get that save. But it's still in the bad spot and a terrible... Oh, what an unfortunate opportunity. Pashi with the own goal. Zumi tries to get a setup here. Pashi's in a bad spot and he knocks it into his own net. Ooh, that is a painful one. So the game is tied up on that own goal. Pashi's going to try and redeem himself here. Tries to dribble it in, but can't quite get the contact. Here comes DeBoer with a setup. No energy behind that shot, though, so a very easy clear. And now, they're leaving their net open a little bit, which might be a good opportunity for Swarm. DeBoer puts it on net, but Puma with a big stop. Pashi tries to get the setup again. No, nothing doing really there. I'm not sure what the idea was. Sikizem, though, comes up to midfield with an attempt, but Zupanova turns it aside. DeBoer with the follow-up off the rebound. Good clear by Zumi Tail to put it in the corner, get it out of harm's way. But the opportunity is still alive. They're having a very difficult time turning this away. Oh, and Pashi had a great setup there for DeBoer. But they couldn't actually finish. Net is kind of wide open here. Sikizem hanging back in goal. He's not coming out. I think he wants to just sort of play a very hard defense in this game. And now... DeBoer tries to get a finish. Can't quite get the angle on it. Set up in the corner. Here comes Billy's. Puma trying to evaluate position. No, not really a good angle he can take on it, so he just drops back. Let's things kind of unfold. Zoomy Tail tries to put it on net. Good clear out by Pashi. There's the follow up by Zupi Nova. Puts it just into the corner, so Zikizem has to rush out of net to make a play happen. You saw Pashi fell back. Trying to make a play. DeBoer gets the right angle. Let's get a better angle on this. My apologies for kind of missing a good chunk of that there. But here comes DeBoer. Gets a nice touch on there and slips it past the defense. Very good goal to get things started off here. For Swarm Gaming, they've got the one goal advantage now. But still a lot of Rocket League to play. A full two minutes. That's an eternity in Rocket League. DeBoer gets a nice setup off the corner. Sikizem tries to go for it, but Pashi gets a beautiful angle, and they can't make the stop. Zupanova tries his best, but look at this. Beautiful setup. They bait out with Sikizem. Zupanova can't react in time. He's a little too off point. And they go up 3-1. This is a little more like the Swarm gaming that we're used to. Coming out hard, getting good offensive opportunities, setting up chances... Pashi again puts the ball toward the net. Zupanova turns it aside. And right now, they are getting chance after chance after chance. Generation of Billy is having a very difficult time keeping the ball on the blue side of the pitch. And when you have so many offensive opportunities, <laughs> Sticky Zem comes out of nowhere, but the whole team is back, I think. Yeah, there we go. Pashi did fall back into a defensive position, but they left that net wide open. Fortunately, enough time for Swarm to regroup and turn things aside. Ball cleared out of the blue zone. DeBoer follows up after a little bit of a setup by Pashi. And he's going to try it again. Shot goes just across the plane of the goal. No luck there. So now, oh, DeBoer takes advantage of that hesitation by the defense. 
And now here comes the offensive opportunity. Zumi Tail gets a good cross, but nobody there to actually make a strike on it. Pashi misses that little aerial attempt to float it over the defense. Back on goal. Here comes Billy's. Zumi Tail gets the setup. Here comes Puma to try to get the finish. Tries to dunk it, but Zupanova from behind. Pashi turns it aside. Zumi misses the opportunity. And now, wide open net. Fortunately, Zumi Tail manages to get the stop. DeBoer puts it on net. And they can't stop the pressure. They have to fall back fast to try and stop this offensive opportunity. DeBoer exploits it. Zupanova gets a bad angle on it. Cannot touch that shot. So Swarm Gaming appears to be taking game number two here in utterly dominating fashion. Coming out very strong, getting plenty of offensive opportunities. Siki Zem looks back on point. The whole team looks back on point. I think just a little bit of an internet issue made things a bit difficult. And now Billy's is going to have to deal with an on point Swarm Gaming team. And a good touch there. Floats it above. What a beautiful finish at the zero second mark by Siki Zem. Let's take a look at this goal. This was just really good looking. Zumi Tail actually was the one who set him up. And Siki Zem gets the zero second finish. 5 1 is your score. And there you have it. So, Swarm Gaming comes back to finally make a, a very strong name for themselves as the team to watch. So that game was a lot more of what I expected to see out of Swarm Gaming. It appeared that they looked a little off in the last game. Um, could be just due to internet issues, things like that. Um, but whatever it was, appears to be resolved now. So Billy's and Swarm have a knotted up series. We're going into game number three. And we're going to see if Swarm Gaming keeps up the momentum or if Generation of Billy's can actually turn this around. Because the winner of this game will move on to our grand finals. And they're going to have a very tough game ahead of them because whichever team is in the grand finals, whether it's Flipside, Team Rocket, Team Epic, I'm not sure which of those two teams actually has made it through the quarterfinals yet. But either way, whichever team it is, they're clearly going to be a very formidable unit to go against. But here we go. Game number three in the blue, Swarm Gaming in orange, Generation of Billies. Pashi gets good contact off of the kickoff, but doesn't manage to get anything set up. Here comes Puma. Zumi Tail tries to turn that offensive opportunity aside. Pashi can't quite do it. Everybody's just kind of floating around the ball right now. Not getting much in the way of solid place. Here comes DeBoer with a nice shot on goal, but Puma gets in the good position to make a stop on it. Zumi, now coming up field, tries to get a setup here. Pashi's going to make the stop. Tries to float it over Puma, but no such luck. And Siki gets the clear again. We're not getting much in the way of offensive opportunities quite yet. Some long-distance shots that look pretty good, but nothing in terms of a setup. Here comes DeBoer, though. Going to try to exploit that bad clear. No, Zumi Tail does manage to stop it, turn it aside, get the ball to the wall. Hi there, Pashi, as he goes flying by the camera. <laughs> Another good setup here. Oh, that ball's going to just dribble in the net. Puma gets the goal. Bit of a defensive lapse here for Swarm. Siki, I think, tried to make a play off the wall instead of making a play in the net. Could not get the contact he needed. And Generation of Billies goes up 1-0 in game number three. Remember, this is a best of five series. So once a team picks up three wins, they are moving on to the finals. The finals will be best of seven. But we'll talk about that when the time comes. Right now, DeBoer, nice touch to get it over the defense. Gets a pretty good setup, but he's got to get somebody there to back him up. Pashi was in a not really the best position to make a play on that, on that setup. So he's going to try a setup. Puts it across the goal a little high. So DeBoer can't quite get there. Now, the ball cleared out of play, back upfield. Puma trying to come up to make a play on it, but DeBoer gets the touch. Zumi can't get the finish because Sikizem sends it out of play. Definitely seeing a more on point Sikizem. Look at that beautiful bit of dribbling there by Pashi. Touches it at the right time, gets it over the defense. 
They can't turn it into a goal, but some really nice play. Zumi Tail with a nice touch of his own floats the ball high. You can't get that by Sikizem, though. And here comes the three-on-one opportunity. DeBoer puts it on net and squeezes it past the defense. Look at this again. Everybody in, in net, but he just got the good contact and just forces it right past everybody to tie this game up. So Swarm Gaming not going to go down 1-0. They're going to nod it up. Three minutes to play. Plenty of time and opportunity for goals. Zumi Tails wins an uncontested faceoff. And DeBoer tries to make a play on net. No such luck. Pashi now plays it up to the wall, but Zumi Tail makes the stop. He's going to try to follow up on his own setup, but it does get turned aside. So now, playing up the wall. Another shot on goal. Easy stop for Sikizem. No heat behind that ball. Another opportunity. Good setup. DeBoer tries to get the clear, but it's still in the zone for Billies. So Sikizem has to go high and send it out of play. But the danger is still there. Misses that. Zo Zo uh, Zoomy Tail <laughs> tries to come in and make a play on it. Here comes Pashi. He's going to try his dribbling skills at their finest, but no. Supernova turns him aside at the gate. Says, you are not VIP, sir. I'm not going to let you in. You're not on the list. Now, Pashi tries to make touch on it, but can't do it. Here comes DeBoer. Big, long-distance shot. Zupanova, though, gets there with a relatively easy stop. The ball did have a bit of speed on it, so you can, it's hard to gauge those shots sometimes. Here comes Pashi. Makes the play into the corner. But DeBoer comes off high. Gets a little bit of a bad angle, but Pashi with a big finish. Gets the rebound in perfect fashion. That's a very typical Swarm Gaming play. DeBoer with a great setup straight into the center of the net. And Pashi gets the finish for the goal. Beautiful setup. Now Swarm Gaming up 2-1. Trying to cut a path to the finals. One more. I'm sorry. Two more wins will do it. But Pashi, oh, with a nice little touch. little off point, though. Here comes DeBoer to pick up the rebound. Puma turns him aside. Had he been in there maybe a little bit earlier... They may have had an opportunity there, but the DeBoer picks up that bad clear. Now he's going to try to make a play on it. Can't quite set up Pashi. Here comes Pashi himself to do something with it. Going to get a bit of a dribble, but Zumi Tail gets the touch, puts it away. Back on the blue zone, but DeBoer turns him back. Big floating shot, which Zupanova sends back to the other side, and now we're just playing some ping pong as everybody goes from orange to blue to orange to blue. Now DeBoer with a good cross here. Bad clear attempt. Pashi tried to get in to punish it, but Zupanova fortunately got right underneath it to slightly touch and disrupt that play. Here's a good setup. Zupanova gets it past the defense. Puma tries to put it on that, but DeBoer, big move to stop that goal from happening. They got to prevent the tie. Down to the final 40 seconds of play here. And Swarm Gaming looking very much on point. Good cross attempt, but it hits the post. No such Goal happening there, folks. DeBoer puts it into the corner. Here comes Pashi to try to make a play. Here he goes with the follow-up of a little bit of a float. He's going to get his own rebound, though. But it hits the lower corner. <coughs> Excuse me. And DeBoer can't follow up on it. Down to the final 20 seconds. Oh, that's a wide-open net. And DeBoer is going to put in the nail in the coffin to wrap things up. So take a look at this. DeBoer gets a nice little floater over the defense, a wide open net, and that is going to be most likely game three in a nutshell. So now, another clash off the kickoff. The ball in a good position for Swarm Gaming. Pashi goes to the wall with a big long distance shot, goes a little high. They need to get the clear. Puma does get it, but DeBoer is there to turn it back aside. In the final few seconds, so now we're in zero second play. And that is probably going to be the end of the game right here. Puma tries to keep the game alive, but nothing doing. Swarm Gaming takes game number three to go up 2-1 in this best of five series. So if that is the Swarm Gaming team that Generation of Billies is going to have to deal with, they have a very long, painful, difficult road ahead of them going in to game number four. So game four is a must-win situation for Generation Abilities. Swarm, if they take this game, will be moving on to your finals. And we will find out after this series who they will meet in the finals, assuming they're the ones who make it. 
So now, <clears throat> had a little bit of an instance of dry throat there, <laughs> just why I lost it a bit at the end there. But I'm good. We got this. Game four, Billy's swarm must win situation. But as far as Swarm is concerned, it's must win for them too. They don't want to lose another game. They don't want to take this series to a game five. However, they have the the slack, basically. To be a little more risky, oh, DeBoer with an amazing save. I'm sorry, with an amazing shot that Puma makes the critical save on. Good setup there. Zumi puts the ball into play. Puma with a nice shot to open up scoring. Gorgeous play. Look at this shot. Comes off the corner. And here comes Puma. Gets a little bit of contact on there. Redirects it off of the crossbar and gets the opening goal. So 30 seconds in. Billy's up 1-0. Excellent opportunity for them to drag this series to a game five. If Billy's can do it. Oh, and Pashi with an amazing save off of that big high velocity aerial shot. And now the opportunity set up for Swarm. But Zoom E-Tail tries to get the clear. He's going to have to move up to get a little more emphasis on there. Nice little bit of a cross. He takes out Pashi, but not enough time to really do anything with it. Those destruction opportunities, when you do that on defense, are certainly a good defensive play. But here comes Pashi. tries to make a play on it. DeBoer to follow up. And the equalizer put in off the net. That's the kind of stuff you're going to see. Pashi gets the setup. He fakes the shot. Can't make the contact. So there's DeBoer to squeeze it in behind Puma and tie this game up. Yeah, those destruction opportunities are a really solid offensive strategy. If you saw the Europe Cup Finals, it was actually a Flipside Gaming who took out two-thirds of Supersonic Stars during that series during a critical must-win game to get the game-winning goal. So, those things work. Bad, a little bit of a bad angle there for Puma. Couldn't quite get the contact I think he wanted to actually make a play on that. Oh, but here's going to be a great finish, but Puma again doesn't get the touch he needs. So, Pashi takes this upfield. Zupanova with a relatively easy stop, but you never really know what angle that ball is going to come at you when Pashi's on it. DeBoer, nice setup. Ball gets bounced around a little bit. Sent up high, but it's still in danger. Pashi tries to make the setup, but Zumi gets right in his way. Zupanova, staying in goal. Knows that Pashi is dangerous. Has a lot of dribbling skills. They clear it out. They're leaving the net open. Coming in hard. It's a must-win situation. Zumi's going to hang back, though, in midfield. I guess they decided they do want to keep that defense there. Wise move, considering. Swarm Gaming is definitely the sort of team that can punish... A wide open net and overly aggressive play. Here comes Pashi. Good little misdirect there, but not fast enough. Zupanova had plenty of time to react to it. Now, DeBoer plays it to the corner. Zoomy tail. Tries to get the clear, but Pashi was in a good spot. He had an idea that somebody was coming for that. So now they're going to try to get it back on the blue zone. Good little setup here. DeBoer tries to clear it out. Not quite. White the energy he needs, not the height that I think he wanted to get it out of there. So Pashi is going to take it up the side of the pitch. Good center, but they're not going to be able to make a play on it before Billy's does. So now, Puma clears the ball back up the pitch. Here comes the opportunity. Mm, a bit of miscommunication there. Not sure who was going to do what on that particular play. Zumi, a little bit of a rough clear. I think he caught a bad angle of the arena and couldn't get it where he wanted to. Ball spending a lot of time at midfield, but these opportunities are being turned aside at one point or another for both teams. But a big shot, and it just goes a little too high off the crossbar and off the post. Plays a little bit of a, a little bit of a jumping bean in the corner, but no luck. Zubanov a big stop. Papashi with the follow through, and it's going to be a bit of an own goal because they can't get the defensive positioning. Let's watch this once more. Zubanova clears it out, but it's not a good clear. And despite two attempts to make contact on that on defense, they get just behind it. And here we go. 2-1 Swarm Gaming trying to secure their ticket into the grand final with this win. 
It is going to be a very long minute and 20 seconds to play for Generation of Billies. If they lose, they are out. And they will have to fight for a third place finish. And there's Pashi with just a... He just sort of stops it here. Gets it over everybody's head. Nobody back to stop it. 3-1. Almost assuredly. A win for Swarm Gaming. In this best of five series. Siki Zem wins the defense. Zumi Tail gets left into a pile of dust. Pashi with another bit of a floater. And another easy goal. Yeah, this, uh... I think Generation of Billies is out of this game just mentally. You know, they knew that the opportunity's done. It's, they fought so hard to try to get some more points on the board. They got a very early goal, but haven't been able to do anything since. Even in terms of offensive opportunities, they really weren't coming for Generation of Billies this game. Oh, and another beautiful floater off the wall. Swarm Gaming just trying to establish their dominance as number two team here in Europe. Look at this wall shot. Nicely timed. Net still wide open, still being exposed. 5-1 with a minute to play. Here we go, a little clash here. Zupanova going to try to make a play on it. They can't. Ball sent into the corner. They might be able to get one or two more. Maybe one more. Maybe. But it's not going to be enough. Not enough time to respond to the offensive onslaught. That Swarm Gaming decided to bring in the last minute of this game. Final 30 seconds. We're just waiting for the buzzer to go off at this point. Oh, and a good little setup there. They can't actually finish on that. DeBoer gets left in the dust. But uh, this is going to be it. The final 10 seconds of play are on hand. Trying to prevent goal number 6. Trying to prevent the Brazil... And that is your game and your series, ladies and gentlemen. Swarm Gaming takes the win, and they will be moving on to your finals. But who will they meet in the finals?